welcome to my new video today we learn about the indices in previous video you see how to solve the sorts now the another part is indices what is indices you know the index notification or notation for a to the power n what do you mean by a to the power n it means a multiplied n times or where we can say a is called base and n is called the index number that you have already earlier studied so let's proceed some rules and law of indices we all know that a to the power 0 equal to 1 means any value any base have power 0 gives 1 a to the power minus n is 1 upon a to the power n a to the power 1 by p a to the root of a whole to the power p some laws for indices if we have the same base then a to the power m times a to the power n is represented by a to the power m plus n if in division so base is same the index is subtract m minus n a to the power m to the power n is a to the power m times n a to the power n b to the power n now here index is same but the base is different we can rewrite a times b means we multiply the base whole to the power n similarly in division term so for division also a by b whole to the power n these are the simple law for indices let's proceed with some example so you have better understanding about how to solving the index indices problems examples we start with the very initial problems if we have simplified this equation 16 to the power 2 by 3 divided by 16 to the power 1 by 6 times 1 by 2 so what we know if we have base same division power is negative and multiplication power is positive so 16 2 by 3 minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 when we take lcm we will take 16 6 by 6 means the power is 1 so solution is 16 only similarly the another example if we have cube root of 3 to the power 2 fourth root fourth square root of 3 to the power 3 so we know how to write our law is if we have a p by q we can write q root of a to the power p so similarly it means this is 3 to the power 2 by 3 this is 3 to the power 3 by 4 now same way it means the power will be the index will be added so 3 to the power 2 by 3 plus 3 to the power 3 by 4 take the LCM we will get 3 to the power 17 by 12 that is the simplification of given index here are some more problems problem simplify or we can say prove that this left hand side is equal to when we simplify it will gives us a square plus b so how to give we have two brackets this we learn already in algebra if we have two brackets how to multiply each term multiply with each of the term of another bracket means a2 by 3 first multiply with this then this then this so what is our term a2 by 3 times a4 by 3 i should write like that minus a2 by 3 again a2 by 3 b1 by 3 then third term plus a2 by 3 b2 by 3 this is the first term multiply with all other three now next b multiply with this this and then last term so plus b1 by 3 a4 by 3 minus a2 by 3 b1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus b1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 this is the multiplication of two brackets now we need to simplify so what is this this is a4 plus 2 6 by 3 means a square minus a4 by 3 
b1 by 3 plus a2 by 3 b2 by 3 plus a4 by 3 b1 by 3 this are commutative we can write either a in front or b in front it doesn't matter minus a2 by 3 b2 by 3 plus b 3 by 3 is only 1. So now let's see what is cancel out C. This is negative A 4 by 3, 1 by 3. This is positive. Cancel with this. This is positive A 2 by 3, B 2 by 3. This is negative A 2 by 3, B 2 by 3. Same term we can cancel out. Now what is left here? Left here is A square plus B which we require in right hand side. That is the simplification of the given big indices. So you really need some practice to learn how to simplify these types of indices. Proceed with the another problem. Question is simplify this equation 4 to the power x plus 2 minus 2 to the power 2x plus 1. 8 divided by 8 to the power x times 4 to the power 1 minus x. Show that this if given this equal to this then you need to show this y equal to x minus 1. So same like previous we start with the left hand side and then compare with the right hand side. When we start with left hand side every base convert into 2 because it's multiple. So this is 2 to the power 2 x plus 2 minus 2 to the power 2x plus 1 upon 2 to the power 3x times 2 to the power 2 1 minus x. Clear? So what is this? It is 2 to the power 2x plus 2. If we are taking 2x plus 1 outside, 2x plus 1 plus. So 1, 2 is here. Here everything go minus 1. What is in the denominator? 2 to the power 3x plus 2 minus 2x. Solve it again. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 to the power 2x plus 1 upon 2 to the power x plus 2. Again apply m by n. So 2 to the power 2x plus 1 minus x minus 2. It gives... 2 to the power 2x minus x is x. 2 to the power x plus 1 minus is minus of 1. Wait. We mis did mistake here. What is the mistake which every general student can do? When you open this bracket, this term you consider as 2 to the power 2x plus 2 times 2 is 4. It means this term is, if we split, this give 2 to the power 2x, 2 to the power 4, correct? So if we are taking out 2 to the power x plus 1, then on 2 to the power 3 is left here. So 2 to the power 3 is what? It's 8. So 8 minus 1 is 7. So 1, 7 will be here. When we simplify, 1, 7 is always here. So if you miss this term, this is the basic initial step where every student must do the wrong step. So you will be more focused when you are opening or multiplying the indices. So now compare 7 with 7, 2 base with 2, so y with y. So y gives with x minus 1. Hence proved it. That's all for this example. If p is not a factor of 2 and 3, find the value of x, y, z. Given problem is 144 p square to the power 5 by 2 divide by 24 p to the power minus 2 whole to the power 3 by 2. So how to proceed? We know 24 and 144 is multiple of 24. Break this 144, 24 times 6. Now we separate. Open the power 24 to the power 5 by 6 times 6 to the power 5 by 6. p to the power 2 times 5 by 2 gives 5. Divide by 24 to the power 3 by 2, p to the power minus 2 times 3 by 2 gives minus 3. 
Now again every term goes up 24 to the power 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2, 6 to the power 5 by 2, p to the power 5 plus 3. So this term will be given by this. Again we have to factorize and minimize in the basic root of 2 and 3. When like prime factorization, so 24 is 8, 2 to 8 times 3. So 2 to the power 3 times 3, 6 is 2 to th 2 times 3. So 2 to the power 5 by 2, 3 to the power p to the power 8. Again, whole, all 2 collect 2 to the power 1 place, 3 1 place, p 1 place. Compare with 2 power is x, 3 power is y, p power is z. So our answer is because here the right hand side is given 2 to the power x, 3 to the power y, p to the power z. So we compare this, we can give x is 11 by 2, y is 7 by 2 and z is 8. The problem is show that if n is a positive integer divisible by 19, then show that 4 to the power n plus 5, 4 to the power n plus 1 minus 2 to the power 2n plus 1 where n is positive integer divisible by 19. So we need to show this thing. So proceed with the same process. You have to simplify it. 4 to the power n all convert into base 2. So 2 to the power 2n 5 times 2 to the power 2n plus 1. Be focus about that. When you open this, generally student what did? They just transfer this. 2 to the power 2n plus 1 which is wrong you miss because when you open this bracket it's 2 to the power 2n 2 plus 2 times 1 is 2 so this term is 2 to the power 2n plus 2 minus 2 to the power n plus 1 taking 2 to the power 2n outside from each term this term give 1 this term give 5 times 2 to the power 2 is 4 minus 2 to the power 1 is 2 Simplify it. This is 1 plus 20 minus 2 gives 19. So this whole, this n is multiple of 19. We can, from here, we can prove that this n is a positive integer which is a multiple of 19. Next, some more examples regarding this. For example, is regarding equation involving indices. So, the first example is using u equal to 2 to the power n solve this given equation. This is our problem which we need to solve regarding n. Problem is 3 to, to the power n minus 1 equal to 2 to the power n plus 4. So, first we have to separate this term. Then, now replace everywhere 2 to the power n with u. So this is 3 u 2 to the power minus 1 is 2. So 3 to the 3 u by 2 equal to u plus 4. Simplify it. When 2 go this side it become 2 u. 4 times 2 is 8. So 3 u minus 2 u is u equal to 8. Again 8 we can rewrite as 2 to the power 3 and u replace with what is the value of u is 2 to the power n. So 2 to the power n is 2 to the power 3. Compare if both base is same. So n gives the value 3. That is the solution for given equation. Now I show you another one more example regarding equations. Another example solve the equation by substitution method. So what is substitution method? We need to same like previous, we need to substitute and then at the end again substitute the proper value. So solve the equation x to the power 3 by 2 minus 8 x to the power minus 3 by 2 equal to 7. Let x to the power 3 by 2 equal to p. If x to the power 3 by 2 is p, then replace. This become p, this become 8 minus 3 by 2 means it's 1 by p equal to 7. Simplify, find the, the roots of given equation. You already learned how to find the quadratic equation roots. Roots are minus 1 and 8. So negative root we always reject. We proceed with the positive root. So p equal to 8. Again substitute what is our p. p 
P is x to the power 3 by 2. So x to the power 3 by 2 equal to 8. 8 we can rewrite like 4 to the power 3 by 2. Now power is same so we can compare the base. Hence with this we can say x equal to 4. So solution of this equation is x equal to 4. Now I will show you how to solve the simultaneous equation with the indices. Example how to solve the simultaneous equation. For simultaneous we have two equation and solving both of them. This is in volume indices. So first is 3 to the power x upon 9y equal to 27. Another equation is 4 to the power 2x times 2 to the power 6y equal to 1 by 4. First we need to simplify, convert into all in base 3 because there is a basic basis 3. So it's 9 we can rewrite 3 to the power 2y. 27 is 3 to the power 3. Again use the law of indices 3 to the power x minus 2y is equal to 3 to the power 3. Now base is same so we can say x minus 2y is 3. This is our first equation. For second same convert into base 2. 2 to the power 4x, 2 to the power 6x, this is 2 to the power minus 2. So 4x plus 6y is 2 to the power minus 2 is the second equation. Now we have 2 linear equation and two unknowns we already learned how to solve when you are solving this equate and solving this very easy it's multiplied by 4 so 4 and 4 cancel out we can get the value of y so when we multiply it become 4x minus 8y equal to 12 minus plus minus so 8 plus 6 14y equal to minus 14. It means y equal to minus of 1. When we will get the value of y, we substitute in any equation, we will get the x. x minus 2 minus 1 equal to 3. So x plus 2 equal to 3. x is 3 minus 2 is 1. Hence, we will get both the answers, both the solution x equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 for the given simultaneous equation in indices form. So, this is the another simple example of simultaneous equation. I will show you one last example for the indices how to solve another example involving substitution method. The equation is x minus 3 root x minus 4 equal to 0. So we need to substitute let root x is p. If root x is p, so x is p square. This is 3p minus 4 equal to 0. We have to find the roots for this equation. This quadratic equation root p is equal to minus 1 and 4. Minus 1 we need to reject. Negative root you can reject. Proceed with the positive root. So p is root x to the power 1 by 2 or we can say root x. So x to the power 1 by 2 is 4. Now we need the power 1 by 2. So what power 1 by 2 gives value 4? It means 16, square root of 16 is 4. So we can rewrite x to the power 1 by 2 is 16 to the power 1 by 2. Now we can compare the base. x gives the value 16. So this is the solution for given equation. I try my best to solve different types of problem that you can easily understand how to proceed and how to handle these indices. That's all for this. Thank you very much.